Hey guys, welcome back to Minivan Camper Gal. My name's Kelly and I make videos about adventuring in my camper van, cooking in my van, and of course, gadgets for the van. Today I'm reviewing this new solar panel by Yargo. How many watts can I really get out of it? And has Yargo perfected the portable solar panel design? Stay tuned to find out. All right, let's jump into it. This is a 100 watt portable solar panel. You can use this to charge any power station, such as some of the ones I've reviewed on my channel, like the EBL or the U-Green, or a Jackery or Blue Eddy. You can also charge lithium batteries, like this power pack, or this larger Renogy power pack. One of the questions you always wanna look into with a solar panel is what sort of connectors does it come with? And will it work with your device? Or do you need to purchase an adapter? Well, look at this. One cord coming out and four adapters connected. This is so nice. You don't have to go rummaging around in your cord bag for the one adapter you need. I have several devices I charge and they all take different adapters. So this is great engineering to include everything all together. It has an Anderson connector, MC4 connector, and two barrel plug connectors. Or one of my favorite things about this panel is you don't even need a separate device. You can hook up a USB cable straight into the little box in the panel and charge your phone or tablet straight from the panel. It supports USB quick charge 2.0 and 3.0. The panel has an ETFE coating, which makes it super durable and easy to clean. I feel like Yargo has taken all of the recent panels and found all the flaws and fixed them. <laughs> Let's take a close look at the material here. Can you see how there's no seam? Look at these other panels. Can you tell which one is better? If you haven't used solar panels in nature much, it might not be very obvious but the panel with the seam gets dirty. In that little tiny crease, guaranteed you'll find rocks and sand, all kinds of crud that will later fall out all over your van floor. But with Yargo, nope, just a smooth surface. I'm sure this is something they researched and deliberately tried to improve. The second feature that really points out they're paying attention is the legs and the straps. There are only two legs, which makes it easy to set up, but look at this. This is a tiny detail that you would never think would be important, but the straps that hold the legs in retract. All the other panels, the straps get in the way when you try to put the legs up, and it just adds a little level of frustration, but that's been taken care of here. It also has grommets to hook some lines to if it's windy out. Speaking of setup, this is, hands down, the easiest panel I've ever used in terms of setup and takedown. It is so simple to unfold. It just folds up like an accordion. And there's a pretty strong magnet in the handle. You guys, watch how easy this solar panel is to put away. And that's it. Isn't that incredible? Because it folds up in pieces, that means it has a really small footprint as well to store it away. All right, so the design is the best I've seen, but now let's check the specs. Does it really deliver? I've learned that just plugging in the solar panel into a battery and reading the input isn't the best way to test a solar panel. Often the battery will regulate how many watts are going in depending on the charge status. For example, just because the battery says 20 watts doesn't mean that's what the solar panel's actually putting out. So I'm going to test it with a voltmeter. I'm gonna measure the volts and the amps and multiply them to get the wattage. So I've got the panels flat because it's just about noon. The sun's right overhead. Okay, we've got 4.99 nine, five. Okay, we'll say five amps. And let's see how many volts we have. Two 
21.84. So let's see, 21.84 times five is 109 watts. That's awesome. I think I've had this up to about 115 if I get the angle just right. This panel can produce more than 100 watts, which is amazing. So what's the price? Well, a lot of comparable panels are about $200 right now. But if you use my code GAL, G-A-L, you can get 17% off, which puts this at $134. So I think it's a great deal. Honestly, this is my favorite panel now. If you've watched my channel, you know that I've reviewed a lot of panels, and this is now my go-to. There's nothing I don't like about this panel. Yargo's engineers must have gone through and documented all the problems with the other panels because they've solved them all with this panel. So there you go. Everything you need to know about the Yargo 100 watt panel. Go get the deal on this thing by clicking the link in the description. And of course, it really helps me out if you can like and subscribe. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.